good morning children welcome to the social session children uh, for the past few days uh, we have been learning about uh, the geographical aspects of india so as a part of that we have seen its water resources uh, we have seen the indian rivers now let us move on to one of the pivotal element of the uh, social studies that is the uh, population population uh, uh, consists of the people of the country when you refer to the development we keep in mind the population of the country and we talk about the development so it especially include those who are uh, normally marginalized marginalized in the sense uh, uh, those who are uh, the downtrodden the poor people we refer to and uh, in the process of development uh, they should be treated equally the idea of equality in the constitution is kept uh, keeping that population in mind and uh, when on the other hand if we you often hear people saying that it is a population explosion it is a population growth uh, uh, that is actually hindering the development of the country so they blame for the jobs uh, uh, the population they blame for traffic uh, they uh, they blame uh, they blame the population for the traffic they blame uh, the population for food and its resources uh, then with many 92% of uh, the working population in india are under the keeping them under the unorganized sector so most of them are casual laborers and uh, uh, are self employed workers either they are casual workers or they are the self employed workers and these people uh, have to struggle a lot in order to find work and in order to earn their livelihood their daily wages uh, they depend upon the daily wages and for their daily wages they need to depend upon the work and they even don't have any kind of social security at all so if they work they are paid if they doesn't work they are not paid and government also doesn't provide any kind of social security measures uh, apart from their uh, families who support them so this is how the population of the country struggle hard they have to struggle uh, hard in order to work and they don't have any social security measures uh, apart from their uh, families to support them so how do we make sense of this uh, uh contradictions it is very important for us uh, uh, to understand the population number its uh, distribution its characteristics uh, and uh, that provide the basic background for the uh, understanding and appreciating the aspects related to the population and in order to draw out to chart out the developmental plans or the policies how to make the decision making of the policies uh, will be mostly dependent upon the population characteristics uh, the nature of the population and the distribution of the population Uh, the census of india provides us with this valuable data or information regarding the population of our country and what is census census means what children census it is an important term now we need to understand census is nothing but it is a procedure of uh, systematically acquiring uh, and recording information once in 10 years so it is a systematically collection of the data and which we record it and which we interpret it for our policy making is called as a census and census is done for every 10 years for every 10 years 10 years is nothing but for every decade so this information is collected about all the people living in the country okay uh, and their professions their caste their religion all the data will be collected by these uh, census people and the people who do this survey go from house to house to find out uh, uh, the number of people living in that uh, uh, house or in every village and uh, a town and city and they also record a lot of information such as uh, how old the people are their occupation is uh, their education their religion about uh, everything they record even how many vehicles they uh, own also will be recorded under under the census so this information will help us to understand uh what is the distribution of the people in each uh, age and whether the country is young country or whether the country is becoming old okay this kind of information can be easily understood through the census so this census will be generally conducted by the registrar and the census commissioner of india and this office will be present in new delhi the registrar and the census commission of india office will conduct this census and it is their duty to organize the collection and recording of its uh, information and this uh, recorded information will be given to the uh, different uh, government departments by the registrar and the census commissioner so actually uh, the census should start this year but due to the covid pandemic the census got postponed 
actually for every 10 years in the sense in 2020 we should get the uh, we should conduct the census but due to the pandemic situation the census got postponed so if the census is conducted in 2020 you get the information in 2021 so for every 10 years in the sense last year 2011 census we have the information and now 2021 uh, will be the year of uh, census so there is a table given in the textbook children which you need to fill up uh, by the information okay there are uh, various uh, columns given there depending upon depending upon the columns you collect the information from your near around and fill up that uh, uh, box so what does the census show actually census generally show the age structure age structure it shows what is this age structure so this age structure is nothing but children into each group into each age group how much of population is present in the country so this age structure is divided into three categories children three categories the first category is children who are generally below 15 years of children children below 15 years comes under this second category is considered as a working population children working population these uh, people work and earn their livelihood and it is between uh, 15 to 59 years of age 15 to 59 years of age and third category is the uh, old age or aged people and they are above 59 years so the age structure classifies the people population into three categories children who are below 15 years of age are considered as children and people who are between 15 to 59 years are considered as a working population and they are also called as a productive population productive population and the third category is a aged category that is above 59 years of age children so these two people are dependent upon the working population okay if the working population of the country is uh, in majority then automatically the country gets developed more faster because these people doesn't earn anything they have to depend upon the working population for their food and for their other requirements so we shall see about the children working population and about the aged under the aged structure also in the next class children till then take care thank you